So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put wires in at, at the top of the rib. So I don't want to stretch the rib too much because the whole point of doing a rib is so that it pulls in. So it's got a little bit stretched as I was rolling it up and drying it. So I just kind of make sure the rib's not too stretched. Now, because this was knitted in the round, there are two layers here. Um, normally I would prefer to block things as a single layer, but when you need stuff in the round, that's not possible. So I'm just going to put a blocking wire, hang on. Um, I'm going to put a blocking wire in here. I just better make sure that I kind of match the kind of pattern matching on the front and the back. So, um, right, okay, what I'm going to do first actually is I'm going to use one of these shorter wires so this is a shorter one and i'm going to put this up the side here I'll, I'll move this in a minute um so you can see exactly what i've done but i'll just quickly push this through because it'll be easier to do this before i put the the wire in so what i'm doing is along the side seam which isn't the seam because it's not sewn but um i've got an increase line at the side here i want to put the wire in to match that and again i'm not putting the wire through the uh, rib just a bit above the rib. Now I'm using these slightly shorter wires to see if they're long enough. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, I'll show you that in the... Right, let me just... So, do the same thing on the other side. So what I do is I go in above the rib, I work out where my... Because I've got an increase line here, I can just line it up with my increase line. I, on, this, I, on the sides I just put the... Um, why inside the fabric so i'm not putting it in and out of the fabric i'm just going inside the fabric so it kind of sticks out either side and uh, that's all i do for that there we go okay so now i'm going to put the wire in above the rib and again i want to be careful i don't stretch the rib too much and i'm trying to match the pattern of the front of the back through by looking through the holes to make sure the holes on the front and the back kind of match up roughly um because it'll make things easier when i go a bit further up so i'm just gonna look a bit more carefully so i'm going through the top layer and the bottom layer at the same time so i do have to just make sure that i'm matching the top and bottom I actually realised by looking underneath it that I've kind of gone in the wrong place. So um, what I'm going to actually do is lift this up because I'll make it slightly easier to make sure that I'm actually going in the right place. I think there we go. Let's put it up. You probably can't see exactly what I'm doing, but I'll show you what I mean when I have just pinned this, uh, when I've just inserted the wire. I'll actually lift it up and show you what I mean. But this is a little bit tricky. There we go. Okay, I've done the same thing again. So I keep going like, um, Instead of putting it right at the edge of the wire, I'm actually going one repeat up, like 10 rows up on the back, which is why I'm just turning the fabric over, over so I can kind of see where I'm going. Um, otherwise it will be a bit wonky. We don't want that, right. So I'm right at the last one. Uh, once I've done the whole lot, I'll just fold it over so you can see it quickly. Okay. There we go. Okay, so um, I'm just going to, so I actually started from roughly the middle and then did one side and I'm going to go back and do the other side. So let's just see. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm just lifting that up. I know you can't really see that very well, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this quickly and then I will just flip it over and see if I can show you what I've been doing. So... There we 
go. And then the black one. I'm actually in the middle of uh, getting ready for Unravel at the moment. Unravel is a big uh, knitting festival in Surrey in the UK uh, this weekend, starts on Friday. Um, Friday and Sunday tends to be the quietest day, so if you've been thinking about coming and you're not sure which day to come on, Saturday tends to be really busy. Um, Saturday is definitely the busiest day. Um, so if I was going, I would go on Friday or Sunday because it just tends to be a bit quieter. Right, let's have a look. So that one, that one. Uh, even though I'm looking at it, I've still gone wrong. Hang on. This is a little bit tricky, so apologies if I'm missing any comments. If you have any questions, just ask them as I'm doing this. If you watch the replay later, you can still ask me questions because I'll get it as a, a DM. And then I'll reply. Right, there we go. There we go. So this is probably the kind of the trickiest bit because I do have to match the front and the back. Oh, hang on. Right, I'm struggling a bit for the last couple before the end of the row. There we go. That's it. Okay. I put it back in the same bit three times now and it keeps just kind of popping out again. So let's try that one more time. There we go. Okay. So, just to show you what I've been doing, so I've been putting it so that you can, I don't know if you can see it, but it comes through onto the back, so that the front and the back at the top of the rib actually lines up. And then I'm going to just pull the rib back in, because I don't want the rib to stretch too much. And because the fabric is wet, if I stretch, pull the rib now, it'll stay dry stretch. So I'm just making sure the rib isn't too stretched, um, which means I'm not going to stretch this bottom bit too much either, uh, because that'll stretch the rib. So. I'm actually going to just take my bracelets off because I know they tend to catch in the uh, pins. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to put wires in along the top edge. So I'll just angle the camera down a little bit more. So I've done a little bit of short row shaping. Just move that way. So I've done a bit of short row shaping um, across the top of the sleeves and shoulders. Now I have, I've woven in most of my ends, but I haven't woven in the ends around the um, cuff where I'm going to pick up stitches for the cuff. So along here, I'm going to pick up stitches for the cuff later and then knit and rib the cuff. So I haven't actually um, woven in those ends because I find it easier to pick up stitches before I weave in the ends. So I'm going to just put one of these in here, just to kind of pin that in place. And then, I'm just trying to angle my camera around a bit, there we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. So this wire, I'm just putting it in, inside the fabric. I'm not going in and out like I did at the bottom. I'm just going inside and I'm trying to line it up with the seam, the shoulder, top of the sleeve. So this line is, goes across the top of the sleeves as well. Okay. So now I need to start pinning this out. So again, I'm going to just put a... Okay, so I want to... One of the things I'm most worried about with this design is that the length is long enough. I know that the width is fine. And if the sleeves aren't long enough, I can always add length in the cuff. But I want to make sure the width is long enough. So I'm just going to measure... Okay, so that's a little bit shorter than what I wanted. So I'm going to just... Stretch this bit a bit more. Yeah, that's it. I want it to be about 70 centimeters long, and that's about 72, which bearing in mind that it relaxes a bit once I've um, released it, that's probably about right. So I'm gonna just put one of those in the middle there. 
Now you may see that I've got some um, stitch markers in place and that's just to help me work out the count repeats and things. Just where I stop and start shaping and stuff. So then I'm going to stretch this bit at the top first. So let's just move it over a bit so you can see what I'm doing. So I like with these wires, I find these quite easy to use. And I'm probably also going to use those along here. Um, let's just do this. So I need to make sure that this bit on the other side matches. Actually, I'm going to do this bit first. So when you use these with the wires, you need to make sure that you kind of, the wire is kind of between the nip blockers and the fabric. So if you've joined me since I started, I'm just blocking a new sweater design. It's not completely finished yet because I need to knit an edging onto that, but I wanted to block it first so that I know uh, roughly what the size is going to be like. So, um, I'm going to pin up this bit next. So for those I'm going to use the snip lockers. Probably make would make sense to use a wire, um, but I don't li like putting wires through like a double edge, double fabric. Um, it's a bit annoying to have to go through two layers of fabric. So I'm just going to do it with these. And because I'm picking up the stitches around here anyway it doesn't really matter that much so i'm just going to make sure that i actually because it is two layers because it's knitting the round i'm just going to make sure i kind of catch both layers and then i also go and make sure i stretch this top bit properly okay so that's I think I need to actually start pinning this out from the top and then go down um, because I'm getting a bit of extra fabric. There we go. Okay, so that's this bit done. So now I'm going to go and do the same thing on the other side. So before, before I do that, I'm just going to measure this bit here so I can do the same thing on the other side. So oh, hang on. that is... 44. So, oh, let me just move the camera around a bit. Okay, so I want this edge along here to be 44. So it's roughly there. Well, I sometimes do when I measure out things like this, and I want to aim for like a specific place, so I'll just put a pin in my blocking mat so that I can then focus on stretching it and, and pinning it out. I'm going to do some more detailed measurements later on just to make sure that, oh, hang on. These short wires are a little bit annoying because they do flop out quite easily. Uh, or pop out quite easily so okay that one like that and then I'm going to pin that along the armhole I think I actually got the my calculation slightly wrong on this one I think I should have done more plain rows at the bottom before I started the shaping um, but I'm going to see what this one's like. This is kind of like a prototype, and then I may end up changing it slightly when I actually write the final pattern, which I haven't done yet. Okay. That's kind of, it's kind of roughly pinned out. So now I'm going to pin it along the bottom edge here above the rib. Whoops. Oops. 
So I'm trying to pin the bit the lace in above the rib without stretching the rib too much. Pinning this bit, I will stretch the rib a little bit, but I'm trying not to stretch the rib too much. So now I'm going to uh, measure. I'm going to just try and move my camera a little bit away so you can see a bit more of the whole thing. If I can't zoom out. So let's just move this away a little bit and see if that helps. I may end up blocking this again after I finish the cuff. I don't know. So what I'm going to do now is so I'm just going to check all the measurements. So like the um, shaping at the sides, I'm going to check that those match. Um, that's about 31 and a half. Okay, so what I found is, let me just flip the camera around a little bit. What I found measuring is that this bit on the other side is longer than this bit, so I'm not quite sure why that is. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to stretch this a bit more and then measure again. That's a bit too much. Yeah, that's about right. Um, there we go. And then I'm going to just double check the shoulders. Four and a half. Four and a half. That's roughly the right thing. And then around the neckline. I've actually knitted on the edging around the neckline already. I did that this morning just because I had a lot of live stitches around there, so it was just easier to just do it. Now around the neckline, I tend to use these. I'm actually going to swap some of the ones I use from the shoulders. Um, so I don't know whether you can see but it's a little bit lower at the front because I uh, shaped it a little bit okay so I'm not actually oh, I'm going to stretch it a little bit actually there we go I'm just stretching the back a little bit just because it felt like it was a bit bunched down. There we go. That's about it. So this is just on my dining room table. It takes up most of my dining room table actually. So this is how I, and you can see, you can see that it lines up through the fabric. Can you see that more or less? So that's what the finished results look like. And then when I finish, when it's dry tomorrow, I'm going to pick up stitches around here and um, knit an edging on. Um, I should have really probably done a few more rounds plain at the bottom. Um, this lace without increases of bottom main instead I started the increases straight after here. So I think I have to change off the final pattern because I think the armhole basically or the cuff has gotten too big. But we'll sort that out. So anyway, that's what it looks like. I hope you found that useful and look after the pattern at the end of March, hopefully. Have a lovely day. Bye.